So on the chill water coil, obviously there's a condensate pan that drains into a P-trap. Um, obviously the reason why I have a P-trap is because we have to overcome the negative static on the fan um, so that it doesn't keep drawing water into the unit, right? So we have to have that trap. So this trap should never be dry, to be filled full of water so that it can overcome the static pressure of the, of the fan so it allows it to drain. So, you know, obviously you have flow going through those obviously during the summer, but winter months sometimes they'll dry up. Just be aware of it that when it, summer comes back around and they might be dry, you might want to put you know, a cup of water in them so make sure they're full of water um, so that they'll drain throughout the summer. I mean, what happens is the unit will run all day and uh, it'll pull water into the unit and then that night it shuts off and you hope the water level isn't too high where it'll overflow over the pan um, before it turns off at night and it allows it to drain and then it'll have that trap sealed and it'll work from that point forward. But when you make sure you have water and you know when I do that transition from you know, sp from, you know, spring to summer. Okay. Um, obviously you have isolation valves on your chill water coil. You have vents. There's a drain at the bottom for the hot water coil and a vent for, uh, for, for the top of the coil. Same as the chill water. A drain and a vent. So, this is very similar to air handler 2, which is obviously to the east. So you have two air handlers. There's, um, I think only strainers. No, because the strainers, this is off of their your chill water loop, the campus loop. So I don't, um, I don't think we put any strainers on them based on our detail. So no. 